What's up, Emulation Nation, and welcome back to Beyond the Emulator. This is your host, Dylan. Today, we're going to do a simple emulator upgrade for Crossmix 13.0 using the TrimUI Smart Pro, which I have here. If you've been rocking the amazing PSP emulator, PPSSPP, on your Crossmix device recently, or with its version that's been supplied with your device, you might be sitting on an older version, which is 1.17 and 1.4, I'm going to show you how to upgrade to the new version 1.19 and make it fairly simple without a lot of technical experience. So are we ready to level up your portable PlayStation emulation? Let's jump into it and get it done. So good morning. So I've got my PSP emulator set up here on my Crossmix through the TrimUI Smart Pro. And when I go to select my games, you have a selection of emulators. I'm going to go ahead and press X. And as you can see, my version is down here with the PPSSPP or the 1.19. I've got the options of both the OpenGL or the Vulcan, and then down below as well. Plus, they've originally kept in the 1.5. So the previous version that was actually on there was a 1.17, which comes with the original CrossMix platform. So we, there has been somebody that has forked off CrossMix and actually upgraded the PPSSPP version in it. And I'm going to go ahead to the computer and show you how we get to that. So what we have here on my laptop is, what I went ahead and did is I was able to locate a file which is on the GitHub, and it is under Crossmix, but somebody has actually forked it off. Over here, they've actually upgraded in the emulators, the new PPSSPP. So if we click on this, and scroll down to the PPSP, here we are. You'll see the version here is the original one. What we need to do is we're going to upgrade to the newer version. And see here what you've got on the emulators is what's going to be upgraded is the PPSSPP to the 1.19. So to get this file we're going to go back over here. We should open back up. Here we go. Get that to refresh for some reason. There we go. And you'll see that the emulators here listed was updated two months ago. So to grab this file, you're going to go over to code. You're going to drop down this to a download zip. It's probably about two gig file. So you would select that. Then when that's been downloaded, this would be the file you have here, and you can see that it's actually Crossmix OS with the PPSSPP version updated. You can see the file is exactly 2.37 gigs. So, what I did here is, with my SD card pulled out of my Crossmix, I inserted it into my device, which has already been completed. I went ahead and opened up my Crossmix, which will unzip. Open it one more time. You'll see the list of files in here in the emulators. You know, scroll down to the PPSPP PSP folder. And you can see the version here is updated. So what I did was I took this file here, copied it, pasted it to my desktop. Now, as far as saves or any cheats at this moment, I haven't gotten that far or made any changes. So this is mostly the basics of updating the emulator. So now, what you would do is you would take this PSP and you'd insert it into the emulator folder on your SD card, which would be looking like this version here under the emulators. But what you would be removing is this file, which is another PSP. This is the old one. And when I click on it, you can see this was a fail here on my first attempt. Delete that. But you can see this is the older version. So then when you're able to swap those two files, I ended up keeping a backup of it. That's why it's here, my old copy of the SP files. But you'd go ahead and just copy and paste and put this one in. You could overwrite it. And then go ahead and reboot your, your device. 
and you should be set. And then, after you reboot, you should be able to go over to the X menu and be able to populate showing the updated versions. So, there you go. Very simple. Just a copy, cut, and paste. Downloading this file. I'll go ahead and insert this link here for this website to where you need to download this file and then you can get to that. Again, thanks again from Beyond the Emulator and have a great day.